In this video, I will discuss how to find mean, median, mode, first quartile, second quartile, third quartile and interquartile range. And finally, I will discuss how to draw box plot. In this example, we have been given uh, the age uh, data. This particular age data contains uh, 27 values here. And all those particular 27 values are present in an increasing order here. So sometimes it will be given in an increasing order. Sometimes they will be given in a random order here. So very first thing what we need to do is we need to arrange that particular data in an increasing order. It is already given in increasing order. So there is no need to do anything over here. Now coming back to the next one, that is uh, we will try to understand how to find mean and median of that particular data. If you want to find the mean, we need to use this particular equation that is mean is equal to x bar which is equivalent to summation of all those particular ages divided by total number of uh, values given here. That is 13 plus 15 plus 16 and so on divided by total number of uh, uh, values here is 27. So if you add all those things, you will get 809 divided by 27 number of values, you will get 30. 30 is the mean age of this particular data here. Now coming back to the second one, that is mode. If you want to find the mode, uh, one one thing what we need to do is we need to identify a value which is occurring with the greatest frequency. So what value is occurring more number of times that is what we need to identify. If you go through this particular data, if you look at here that is 25, 25, 25, 25 it is coming four times. Similarly, 35 is also coming four times here. So you can say that the 25 and 35 are occurring greatest number of time. So the final answer in this case is the mode is equal to 25 and 35 over here. Let us assume that 25 is coming 5 times, the mode will become in that case 25 only. If 35 is coming 7 times, so 35 is having the greatest frequency, so 35 will become the mode in that particular case. Now coming back to the next measure that is the median. If you want to find the median, we need to know one thing that is how many number of elements are given to us. So in this case, we have been given 27. So 27 is an odd number. So if odd number of elements are there, the middle value will become your median. So in this case, the middle value is 25. That will become the median in this particular case. But sometimes what happens is uh, the number of elements given may be even. That is uh, 28 number may be given or 30 or something like that. So in such case, what we need to do is we need to take half the sum of middle two numbers. So we need to fi uh, find the sum of the middle two numbers first and then we need to take half of that you will get the median of that particular data here. So in this case as I said earlier we have odd number of elements. So the middle value in this particular case is 25. So that is the reason the median is equal to 25 here. Coming back to the next one that is uh, mid range. Mid range is the sum of the lowest and highest value divided by 2. That is uh, lowest value is 13, highest value is 17 divided by 2 that is equal to 41.5 in this case. Coming back to the next one that is uh, first quartile, second quartile and third quartile and so on. So if you want to find the first quartile, second quartile and third quartile, we need to use the following equation. The first equation is that is uh, to find the first quartile that is also denoted by Q1 which is equal to n plus 1 divided by fourth term over here. So in this case, the number of elements are 27. So 27 plus 1 is 28. 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7. So 7th term will become your Q1 in this case. So which is the 7th term? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this will become your Q1 in this case. So that is what I have written here. Similarly, if you want to find the second quartile, second quartile also denoted by Q2, which is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2th term, that is 28 divided by 2, that is 14th term in this case. This is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So this will become the uh, Q2 in this case, or it's also called as second quartile. Coming back to the third one, that is the third quartile denoted by Q3, which is equal to 3 times the first quartile the term that is n plus 1 divided by 4 actually it is multiplied by 3 here. So if you do this particular calculation that is the 3 multiplied by 28 divided by 4 because of uh, 28 uh, 27 plus 1 that is the number of elements it will become 21 21st term you can say 21st term in this case it is 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 so this is the 21st term here. 
so that is nothing but 35 here so this is how actually you can calculate first quartile second quartile and third quartile here now once you find uh, this particular uh, first second and third quartile uh, we can uh, denote this particular data with the five uh, element uh, summary that is called as uh, the minimum num element the q1 q2 q3 and the highest element here so this is how actually we can summarize this particular data this is the minimum number first quartile value second quartile value third quartile value and the maximum value of that particular data in this case now uh, we will try to find the interquartile range interquartile range is always equal to upper quartile minus uh, the lower quartile upper quartile is nothing but q3 and lower quartile is nothing but q1 in this case so q3 minus q1 that is uh, 35 minus 20 we have already calculated q3 is uh, 35 and uh, q1 is 20 and if you find that particular value you will get 15 here so 15 is the interquartile range in this particular case now coming back to the next one uh, how to draw the box plot here so if you want to draw a box plot uh, very first thing is uh, we need to denote the x axis with respect to, to the attribute uh, name and y axis with the values over here and uh, this line will represent the lowest value and this line will represent the highest value so this is nothing but 13 here and this is nothing but 70 over here and then coming back to this particular box the lowest border of this particular uh, box plot is nothing but the q1 value so q1 we have already calculated that is equal to 20 here and this is the largest boundary of this particular uh, box plot is q3 actually that q3 we have already calculated that is 35 in this case and this particular middle line that is nothing but q2 q2 we have already calculated that is nothing but 25 over here so this is how actually you can easily draw the box plot for a given data in this case i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching